they haven't found they didn't find they had a rough time finding people yeah so, right there was weeks of that you know yeah. maybe there's still people alive in the wreckage yeah so there was like a rumor that like he was there's a hotel in there or like some sort of a lobby uh-huh. there yeah, right and he was allegedly seen helping a bellhop and a group of people. Oh, or, right. I don't know if it was a bellhop. Some sort of a bellhop type guy. Yeah. So we thought maybe he was, like, trapped in a kitchen. Mm-hmm. And there was, like, food everywhere. And, like, right, and right. He was just chilling. Waiting. Yeah. Wait, you, you make up out. a lot of shit. When, when you're a kid, huh? Yeah. So So then when did it really sort of, like, uh, sink in? I don't... A lot of it I don't remember. But I know it was, like... Probably a week or two where we were just like everybody was like, devastated. Yeah, and then like, and here's how shitty is that island came. Yeah, I still got picked on like the next day. And they knew. Yeah. Did they pick on you with that? No. Oh, but just, they were just still mean, just still like fuck this kid. Like, yeah, I actually had one kid be like, he actually became my friend for a little bit. Um, and he was like, uh, I'm inviting you over because my mom told me to. <laughs> Because your dad died. <laughs> That's how he put it. It was in third grade. I was like, okay, I'll see, I'll see you Friday after school. <laughs> That's fucking heartbreaking. It was fucking awful. Why did they pick on you to begin with? What was your particular vulnerability that they all decided to bu- bully you? I was funny looking. Yeah. Um, I used to rip my hair out of my head. Before or after? After. Yeah. So, you know, I had, I, when I was fourth grade, I was like bald. I looked like I had, you know. Like from ripping your hair out? Ripped all my hair out. Do you know what compelled you to do that? I, I don't know. It was just like a tick after it happened. I just couldn't stop. Really? Swirling and ripping my hair out. What else? What other things happened? Like physically? Um, I don't... You don't know? I was, I know I was, I was in therapy like the, you know... I was in therapy a few months before it happened. Because of the divorce. Like a family thing. Yeah. yeah. And then it just... Pr- like I just continued. With that. the same guy? Uh, same lady and then just like... When that happened, since all the kids were so young, I, th- I think, like, a lot of... Like, one time, this these doctors from, like, Columbia, like, came over to my house and, like, interviewed me, and I think they were doing, like, a lot of, like, research, maybe. Studying the, the studying kids, the, the kids. 9-11 kids? Yeah, and they would ask me, like, really fucked up questions. They would, like, be like, do you think your dad's alive, though? Like, do you think he's, like, out there? Yeah, the with that house? tone? Yeah. You, yeah. Like, and I'm like, no, if he is, he's a dick. If he's <laughs> fucking hanging out there. Yeah, yeah. Not coming home. But, like, yeah, it was, like, a lot of, like, going to, like, Cornell. Really? They, like, brought, they or, flew, pre- like, a bunch of kids? They or? Were, I didn't... I assume. I know I had a really rough time. I don't know how anybody else really handled it, but, like, I would have to go all the way to the city to do, like, that. Yeah. So, like, it was... Were there other kids in your neighborhood that lost their parents? No, I didn't really know anybody... Uh, until there was this 9-11 camp that they had. Get out. This is called America's Camp. It really? Was a camp for all the children who lost a parent. Really? Uh, it was fucking awesome, dude. It was sick. How, like, the year after or when? Two, maybe two years after they started it, or yeah. a year after. Right. And then it went for, like, until everybody turned, like, 17. And so you started. go every year? I went... For five years. I, I think my mom waited like two or three years to see because she was too like scared to yeah. send me. But then once she went and it was like just all these kids that are all pretty much the same age. Well, that's sort of like amazing. It's inc- It was incredible. It was a really good time in my life and I have a lot of good memories from that. And all the counselors, they come from all over the world. So like people from like Ireland, Wales. Really? Like, Welsh people and like people from England, like hardly any like Americans. How many kids? Uh, maybe like two, maybe two, three hundred in the camp. really. I, I pr- I'm pretty sure that's like a beautiful thing. Yeah, cause and then like my sister started going because she got old enough, and then we went together. Yeah, it was really, really sweet. And it was just a regular camp. Did you, did any of you guys, uh, the kids, talk about it? I mean, was there any like? Did they? I mean, yeah. it was sort of hanging over the camp. You yeah. all knew yeah. why we you were all there. knew why we were there. <laughs> but like, right. I think like one of the main rules was like, don't. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. shaking like something in your face. Like, yeah. Here's ice cream or yeah. whatever. Right. So like, but there would be like moments where like uh, at the end of the camp, like last night, where they have like campfire or whatever. Uh huh. And they're like, they're, you know why we're all here? And they have like very nice like poems and people read stuff. And they had like Taylor Swift performed at our camp, really? when, but she was like 15, right? Or whatever. Like so they got people to come and play, and it was really it was really nice. Oh, that's a beautiful. It could have been the worst fucking thing ever. Uh, yeah. If it, if could have been really bad but yeah i guess it was really a matter of of how it was run yeah. i mean you know I, I how could it have been bad if everybody was just you know miserable but your kids yeah i think they did a really good job at distracting 
And they also, they had, like, this room called, like, the Volcano Room. Yeah. Which is just, like, a bunch of punching bags and, like, really could, like, smash stuff and, like, break walls and, like... And was that popular? Yeah, it was very popular. <laughs> it was, uh, it was a lot, it was always, like, it would be funny if, like, kayaking, they'd be like, anybody want to go? We have ten places. Yeah. And, like, Volcano Room would be sold out to, like, Thursday. <laughs> so, like, a line go, around the corner. Go, go hit shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. So, yeah. boys and girls, all ages, I guess, up yeah. to, what, 16, 17? Up to 16, 17. And then, if you turn 16, 17, you become a counselor. But you didn't do that? Uh, I did for, like, a year. Oh, yeah? Yeah. For, like, one of the last years. And how, how did your sister, how does your, does your sister have any memories of this stuff? Did she process it differently than you? Or? I don't think she knows who the dude is. Yeah. To be honest right, with you. Right, right. But, um, it definitely affects her, but I don't know if, like, me and my sister aren't really, like, the closest. Right. You know, like, since, like, I moved out and, like, I'm, we're kind of at that, she's in college, I'm doing this yeah. type thing. What's her four-year difference? Four-year difference. Yeah. So, you know, we talk about it, obviously it makes her sad, but I don't know if it, like, if she... It's worse for her or or better. Right, I, I right. don't know. I could see, like, the positives to both sides. To not yet. Because you have a little bit of a memory. I, personally, I would like to not know. Right. I wish I was in her position. Like you didn't know the guys at the firehouse. Yeah. You didn't know, you know, your dad. You yeah. Didn't, yeah. Yeah. I would like to just start no debt. Yeah. I would love right. to do that instead of watch it. Because that it kind of taught me what, like, death is. Yeah. And too, like Too young in a way. Yeah, that life could just be taken. You know, like, usually when you get to high school, a couple kids, you know, kill themselves in their garage. Yeah, right. You know, car you, accident. Yeah, car accident. You kind of, like... Grandparent dies. Yeah, you, you yeah. start, like, real... You're like, oh, okay, we're not invincible. Right, but, like, right. right out the fucking gate. And like, something that glorious. Global. Yeah, that's horrible. it was the, at the time the biggest biggest tragedy that's ever happened. It still is in in a lot of ways. Yeah, you know it's 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 completely. It's definitely top three. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's right up there. Yeah. Us tragedy people, we fight about it all the time at our meetings, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but you know it it, it is it, it's astounding that camp story is just beautiful I, I wonder whose idea that was Do you know I don't know exactly whose idea it was where I, was it it was in uh, Massachusetts um, on like like a lake like a, like right a, like a, a, a real phenomenal. camp went there yeah and uh, yeah and it was what for like two weeks four weeks it was a week a week a week yeah it's phenomenal and like all these people from all over the world so you're seeing you know like a global community or we're gonna stop it right there that was Mark Murray and uh, Pete, and Pete Davids Davidson uh, talking about his experience when he was younger with 9-11 we're gonna pick it up tomorrow again and finish the rest of it Well, I hope you all enjoyed it. We'll pick it up tomorrow and finish it. I hope you all tune in right here at www.speakerstudio.com. You can catch me live here on demand or on Facebook, Twitter, Facebook, Twitter, iHeartRadio, and iTunes. If you miss it for any reason, you can catch me in the list. You can email me at bdhammond45 at gmail.com. Have any questions, concerns, comments, or have a show idea? Contact me at 210-708-8701 at your convenience. I want you to have a blessed day. Be safe. It is straight up 5 a.m. the 28th day of September 2017. Signing off, this is Brian from San Antonio, Texas. Have a good day.